Hi there, this is Eric for Ochoy. In this video, we're going to take a look at troubleshooting some issues that might arise when you're working with scenes that are very large. And by large, I mean in terms of the dimensions of the scene, not necessarily the amount of geometry or textures in the scene. So large in terms of dimensions. So I'm using the Space Gas Station 01.MA scene here uh, as an example. And if I zoom out a little bit, you can see there is a kind of a weird banding artifact here on the ground plane. So I'm gonna select the ground plane and just go into the Octane Render shelf and click on this diffuse material. So I can apply a diffuse material just to make it a bit more obvious what I'm talking about. So how do we get rid of this artifact? It's actually pretty easy. Go into your render settings and open up the attributes for your current kernel. So I'll click on this to open up the kernel settings. And we can see here in the attribute editor, we have the direct lighting kernel. You want to find the ray epsilon setting and increase this by a small amount. Let's say 0.01 or something like that. The artifact goes away. So ray epsilon helps to remove artifacts when working with scenes that are very large or very small. You want to try and use the smallest value possible in order to get rid of the artifact because lower values or values closer to zero tend to render more physically accurate results. So use some caution when you're raising the ray epsilon. 